The Association of Southeast Asian Nations is one of the richest economic unions for natural resources and biodiversity, the worth of which is estimated to be upwards of a trillion dollars across the 10 nation state. And it is these very natural resources that are key to helping the region become an economic powerhouse in the future. There is, however, one country in the region that has one of the biggest untapped minerals. Yes, we are talking about the Philippines, and it has been found to have around 1.4 trillion US dollars worth of untapped mineral reserves. That is almost four times more than its 2021 gross domestic product. Yet as of 2020, the mining sector had only contributed 0.6% to the GDP of approximately $2 billion. So, despite having such a large untapped potential that could potentially bring massive prosperity to the country, why is the Philippines still not taking advantage of such an opportunity? Better yet, does the Philippines even have any plans for the future of the $1 trillion industry? Before we move on, don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe for more. Natural resources are very common in Southeast Asia, not only in the Philippines. Indonesia, for example, has a mining industry that contributes between 4 to 6% to its gross domestic product annually. Furthermore, way back in the 1980s, the mining sector contributed double digits and even at one time reached over 26% of the total GDP of Indonesia. However, the Philippines has yet to see such boosts. Even though the mining industry has huge potential, there have been several big oppositions in the past. These mining activities have been shunned time after time due to the damage to the environment and the people. In the early months of 2017, the Philippines Environmental and Natural Resource Secretary, Regina Lopez, cancelled over 75 mining contracts, closing 23 mines and suspending 5, all due to environmental concerns. Moreover, way back in 2012, the mining industry was already hit by a strict new law from then-president Benigno Aquino, which banned new mining deals and eventually stagnated the entire industry for almost a decade. As a matter of fact, these types of instances have happened several more times in the past. Even the current president, Rodrigo Duterte, wanted to completely stop the entire mining industry and a majority of these have been largely attributed to the concerns for the environment. So, moving forward, will the Philippines' $1 trillion potential remain untapped forever? Especially knowing that climate collapse has become a real threat to society, will it forever be a small industry that may one day shut down? The answer is no. The mining industry as of recently is starting to change. The current president of the nation has officially lifted the near-decade ban on new mining projects in 2021. And from what it seems, investors, miners, and international organizations are expecting that the lift of this mining ban will usher the Philippines' economy to a better position. These, according to a famed business council, will even have spillovers to other industries, such as manufacturing. These may have even been in line with the recent change of its 60-40 law, where a foreign investor may now own 100% of a Philippines business, whereas previously, they could only own as much as 40%. These movements by the president, we believe are aiming to boost the economy of the Philippines after it has experienced some of the biggest drawbacks during the economic shocks in the past few years. Moreover, the president himself stated that the nation has only tapped in less than 5% of its mineral resources. This eventual push will bring the $1.4 trillion potential closer to the country. Foreign investors have even rushed quickly as soon as they saw this. Just after the ban was lifted, already several investors from 12 countries have reached out for a potential deal on its mining industry. But what will be the true winners are the locals themselves. In just the nickel industry alone, it is expected to generate as much as 1.3 million jobs within the next 10 years. There are, however, several oppositions to this movement. Just like how the ban and cancellations took place years ago, the way to move forward, as we believe, lies in sustainable mining, ensuring that the risks are minimized as much as possible and ensure that there are cooperations with environmental agencies. We think that including every stakeholder or party will eventually be the biggest solution to greater economic returns.